G'day, welcome to the Tech Math Channel. Looking at one of my favourite math calculation tricks today where I'll show you how to multiply two numbers in their teens instantly. That's a nice easy trick to learn and I'll have you smashing out these calculations and putting the wind right up your teacher quick smart. Alright, here goes. And you've got three seconds to answer this. And do remember this is a mental trick, so do try to do this in your head. So the first example here is 14 times 12. Now, time's up. Did you get the answer of 168? If you did, congratulations. If not, I'm going to show you how to do this in your head. Okay, and it's fairly simple. All right, I'm going to get rid of the answer here, and I'll show you what my thought process is as we do this. The first thing we do is I look at both the units numbers for our 14 and our 12 here. So we have a units number of a 4, and for the 12, we have a units number of a 2. The next thing I do is I would add one of these, the 2 either here to the 14, or the 4 to the 12. It gives us the same answer. So... Say 12 plus 4 is 16. Now, this is our tens number, so I think of this as 160. Okay, 16 becomes 160. The second thing I do is for our units part is I would multiply these two numbers, okay? So 4 times 2 is 8. And then what I do is I just add these guys together. So what we have is 160 plus 8, really easy to do in your head, is 168. All right? Pretty simple, right? Okay, what about we go through another example? You'll probably notice with this as well, you can do these in your head. You do not need to be writing these down. So I'm writing a little bit extra when I do this. Okay, so let's go through another harder example now and see how you go. I'm going to give you five seconds to answer this one. Um, and what about we give this one a go? Uh, 16 times 17. All right. Okay, I reckon five seconds is up. So the very, very first thing I do is I'll look at the units numbers. We have a 6 and we have a 7. The next thing we're going to do is I'm going to add either the 7. I'm just going to add this 7 to the 16 here, which is 23, which as a tens number becomes 230. All right, six sevens are 42. So 230 plus 42, we get our answer of 272. Like I said, really, really simple. Okay, what about I give you another example? And then what we'll do is we can go through and look at why this particular trick works. Okay, so, all right, what about 15 times 19? Okay, we have a 5, we have a 9. 9 plus 15 is 24, so we get 240. is our tens number that we're starting in our head. Five nines are 45, so 240 plus 45 is 285. And that is the how you multiply numbers uh, in their teens with one another really, really easily in your head. Okay, so why does this work? Let me show you. Okay, so first off, you're going to think about these numbers here. I'll just give you an example. Say we were multiplying uh, 12 times 18. Okay, and you can probably work this out in your head, but I just want to show you what's going on here. I'm going to think about this being a number 10 plus a. In this case, 10 plus a, a is equal to 2, okay? And we're multiplying this by 10 plus b. In this case, b is equal to 8, but these numbers can obviously vary. All right, so we were to multiply this out, okay? The first thing we get is 10 times 10, which is 100, okay? Uh, 10 times a, which is 10a. We have, to that, we're going to add 10 times b, and to that, a times b. All right, so if we expand those brackets out, uh, this is what we get. All right, so what we can do now is we could basically divide this number by 10. We could put this number in brackets by 10. I'll show you what I mean. This, These three numbers all have 10 going to it. So we can basically uh, shorten this out. We can say this is 10 times 10 plus A plus B plus AB. You see what I did there? Because 10 times 10 is 100. 10 times A is 10A. 10 times B is 10B. And we have the AB. Now, what's going on here? And let's put this in terms of our 12 times 18 here. Okay, so the very first thing we have is we could think about this. You know, A and B is 2 and 8, okay? The very first thing we have is, say, 12 plus 8. You know, when we say, okay, this is 12 and 8, we're basically going 10 plus 2 plus 8, okay? So 12 plus 18, for instance, is 20, all right? So I'll put this over here. The 20 becomes 200, okay? The next thing we have is AB here. Okay, because we multiply that by 10. The next thing we have is AB. 
A times B is 2 times A. 2 times 8 is that part, 16. 216, yeah? So that's why this particular trick works, okay? Uh, that's a, a proof of how it works. Anyway, if you like this video, please remember to like and subscribe. Hopefully you do like it. It's a really, really simple trick. And hey, just a big shout out to my latest patron, uh, Dave. Thanks, 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 thanks. Uh, you patrons are being really, really great, okay? You're, you're helping keep the maths free, and that's a really awesome thing. So anyway, I'm going to be making a few more of these math trick videos. I'm updating a few of them. I have a few that are sitting pretty old, but the sound quality is a bit rubbish and uh, things like that. So hopefully we can uh, fix those up, make the sound quality a bit better, put them in HD, and uh, you know, engage a brand new audience in loving maths. Anyway, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.